the daughter of the Minister of Justice, John Marshall, is believed to have gone missing early this morning. There is at the moment an unconfirmed report that she was admitted to St Anne's private clinic late last night, but it is now understood that Gardaí are involved in the search. Mrs Lawton's car was discovered abandoned on the Vico Road in South County Dublin, and a more intensive search of the area resulted in the discovery of items of her clothing on a nearby beach. Jane Lawton is 24 years old, of slim build, with red hair and is 5 feet 5 inches tall. Anyone fitting that description should be reported to your local guard the station. Speculation is now mounting that they are dealing with a suicide. More to follow on this later. He's gone. He's gone. Very good, madam. Not quite as exciting as your line of work, but it's close. Mm. Where's your friend gone? Oh, he, uh, he nipped out for a coffee. Hmm. It's all in a night's work. Yeah. There, you're finished. Scar has that character to a body. Oh, well, if it doesn't, I'll sue. <laughs> And listen, I was thinking, you know, maybe some night taking a picture put on the nose back. What do you think? Yeah, maybe. If my marriage breaks up. Ah, so that's it. So I'll never see you again. Oh, I wouldn't say that. No. Come back in ten days, I'll take your stitches out. Ah. Whatever you say, Doctor. Well, fuck you anyway. You're smoking again. Come on, cough up. Oh, Jesus, give us a fucking break. It's like feeding time in the zoo in there. After this one, I'm off them again. Oh, you're back on them as well. Well, that's it. We're quits. All bets off. No, no, you smoke first. The deal was whoever smoked first paid the other, right? Now, a man's as good as his word. If you don't want to pay me, that's fine. All right. Nothing else strange happening in there. I asked her out. <laughs> you asked her out? Right. Oh, for fuck's sake. You fucking asked her out. Jesus Christ, the woman's dying on her feet. Dr. Frankenstein's doing an experiment on some stiff. And you go and ask her out. Jesus, great fucking timing. If there's two things you know nothing about, it's women and clothes. Anyway, she's married. Oh, well, she's married. And if she wasn't married, do you think she'd fancy a snappy swamper like yourself? Here's how I see it, right? She parks the car on the road, comes down those steps here, and goes in for a swim. Brown bread, uh, opening shut case. No, 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 you know and I know. If she wasn't who she was, we wouldn't be here now freezing our bollocks off. All right, Grant, she does all that. Right. But then what's to stop her turning around and going back up the steps? She fakes it. Oh, yeah. Then the submarine came along, she hopped into it and she fucked off. Now, where are you getting all this from, huh? Why well, can't it be simple? Look, say now, a domestic scene, right? Fucking row or something with the husband. She comes down here, tops herself. Her car was found on the road, the shoes on the beach. All we have to do now is concentrate on why she killed herself. What about the husband? Greg Lawton. Yeah. Big shot in the ad game. Bit of a ladies' man. Ah, well, no. That could be your motive. What about the sister? Ah, it's all too crap. There's something just not right about it. I'm telling you, Brennan, she's alive. I've got a feeling about this one. She's out there. What do you want to do? Question a few fucking dolphins? Okay, Marshall got a job in April of last year. Jesus, remember that interview he did? Well, if there are some who say I should have made it to this position sooner, maybe you should ask them why they think that is. I have always been happy to serve this party in or out of government, be it on the back benches or as it is now, in the cabinet. But if I had never been offered this post, I would have carried on as I have done for the past 25 years, loyal to this great party. Oh, congratulations. I'm proud of you. I didn't think I was going to get it. I thought Kevin would get in on the reshuffle. And to think you were going to pack it all in. Oh, it's funny old game politics. I wish Mother was here. She'd have been so proud of your success. Carol, uh, 
Don't lecture your mother. Not tonight. Not in front of your sister. Oh, she's not my sister. Carol, she's your don't. adopted. Don't. Carol, don't. Don't, please. Dad! I saw young Teddy. You were brilliant. Who oh, has Teddy dead yet? No, Carol. The vet says he's going to be all right. Oh, pity. What's the matter with you? Dad just got promoted, and all you can do is start bitching. Bitching? Girls, please, please, come on. Here, here. Go on. Get here. Now, when was it Jane brought Lord and home to meet the dad? It was around Christmas time, wasn't it? Yeah. She said she was going to get married. Wedding of the year and all that shit. I'm getting married. Married? Married to whom? When? Greg Lawton. He managed your campaign in the election before last. That's the one where you nearly lost your seat. Jane, whatever happened to Tarzan, the rugby player, hmm? I told you I finished with him in the summer. I think I know him, but you've known this young man for such a short while. I know, Dad, but I know that I love him and that he loves me. And when is all this supposed to happen? May. And it's going to be beautiful. That's wonderful news. Just so long as you're happy. And when do we get to meet Wonder Boy? I've invited him over later tonight. Is that okay, Dad? <clears throat> and I want a big wedding with lots of guests. <laughs> I presume you're taking that bird with you. Father, this is Greg. Greg, welcome to our home. Minister, you better learn to call me John. <laughs> um, Havana's, I believe, your parcel. Thank you very much. And what a handsome brother-in-law you're going to make. Not bad at all. I approve. I'm Carol. Jane and I are sort of sisters. Yes, Jane's told me all about you. <laughs> I bet she did. Carol's my older sister. Uh, uh, Greg, a drink? Uh, scotch, no worries. Jane? Same for me, thanks. So, you're stealing my little daughter away, hmm? Oh, not at all, John. You're gaining a son. And perhaps a cut-price re-election campaign. <laughs> now, a toast. Jane and Greg? Jane and Greg. Every happiness. happiness. What's the story? I'm hungry. Ah, let's go eat. Oh, no, I'm not going to any of them merry and vegetarian places. Look, when you go back to your place, you can eat as much of that stuff as you want. All that sunflower seed, show you, whatever. I'll bring you in some tomorrow. Don't bother. Listen, what do you want to Susan? She's out sick. I was on a blower to her. She's coming in tomorrow to give us the wedge, but she wants to know what we're going to call it. Oh, Jesus, what does she think it is? A cocker fucking spaniel? Ah, uh, she's putting up the money. Right, then. We call it the marsh. After the case. Oh, 10 out of 10 for originality. Come on, we gotta come up with something better than that. <sighs> right, if we can't call it the marshal, then we call it the sheriff. Look, I love cowboy pictures. Oh, you're some fucking cowboy you are. Okay, boys, take him to Missouri. Oh, please, all right, all right. The sheriff it is. If this works out, we're gonna be on the pig's back. And if it doesn't, we'll be under its arse. How are you, Nola? Oh, how are you, Nola? You're off dancing. Hi, boys. Oh, no. That's me, told. Right. Are we eating or what? Italian. What about Italian? No problem. The best chippers are Italian. Andiamo. Right. Right. Well, it seems like a happy family up to this, right? But what makes plain Jane take a drive to the seaside? I'm dying with this flu. The only reason I came in today was to see you two jokers. Well, have you got the money? Oh, give me a chance to get in the door. Give me a chance to open me bag. Give you two boys a chance to say how sorry you both are to see him under the weather. How are you, Susan? Sorry, sorry to, to see you're under the weather. weather. You're going to have to take cash. This must be the thickest thing I've ever done. No, it's an investment. Hmm, the Bill Society didn't want to give it to me. I think it was their money. Something about having to give them once notice. So how did you swing it? Oh, I told me I owed me down to some money. I had to give me wisdom tooth out in the next 20 minutes. I mean, Dennis was a bastard. If they didn't give me the money in the next 10 seconds, I was going to scream. But the end is all the sense of it. <laughs> Great to have you aboard, Susan. You're like a breath of fresh air. Uh, which one he gets to hold the brain stuff? I'll give it to himself. It's his brain, child. Mind your head. How come this horse is only going to cost two and a half thousand? Yeah, how come it's only going to cost that? Because that's all it costs, right? 
Jesus, it's not gonna win the Derby or the Grand National. It's probably a fucking donkey. Don't worry, it's only gonna be running against donkeys. Don't worry, everything's gonna be great. That's what worried me. The Marshall case. That will come up. The family tree. We're having a look. You know, there's rumours about this Greg Lawton and Jane's sister, Carol. Where did you hear the rumours? Well, you'd be surprised to hear in a ladies' loo in a nightclub. Oh, we're all ears. Don't look so eager, boys. It's nothing you could bring to court. Oh, run away is anyway. What do you know about Lawton and the sister? Uh, well, it seems our Greg Lawton is a real ladies' man. Great. Just great. The Williams account is gone. Would you like to explain how this happened? They've gone off to Clark's. My bank manager is really going to appreciate you being sorry. I'm not interested in Clark's rates. For fuck's sake, John, tell me something I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good to talk to you. Terry, Greg, are we in place? No, I'm not waiting a few days. It won't backfire. You have the money. In three weeks, I'll be over there myself. Yes, I'm shutting down the shop, leaving a few bills behind. And Terry, it's Lawton and Clark, not Clark and Lawton. Good. Yeah. Yeah, call me for lunch. Miss Marshall is here to see you, Mr. Lawton. Send her in. Ah, Carol, is Jane with you? Pray not. Touch of the flu. I rang, but you were engaged. Take a seat. What are you doing? Don't you believe me? Of course. I'm just ringing to see how she is. What does a girl have to do to get a drink around here? Probably try another office. Hello. Could I speak to Jane, please? Uh, no, no message. Thank you. She'll be in bed all day. Told you. Let's get some lunch. I thought you'd never ask. And what happened then? Like I said, rumours. Well, were there any more rumours? There's always more rumours. This horse had better be a winner. Now, one should not talk of such things as horses during working hours. And what happened next? Jane and Greg got married. Jesus, tell us something we don't know. Jane, I'm home. I'm in here, Greg. Oh. Hiya. Hiya. I had a very peculiar phone call today from an artist. Uh-huh. Something about a portrait. Oh. Well... Remember how you said I could pick out something I wanted for my birthday? Mm-hmm. And that you'd pick up the tap? Mm-hmm. Well, it was supposed to be a surprise. Well, I am surprised. But you didn't think I was going to forget your birthday, did you? I mean, I know it's next Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday.
<laughs> You'll go get the money off the other two, yeah. And hey, one of those Joe's misses know he's putting the money up. Listen, we won't start any messing there until after we get the money. Yeah, you're right. Let's go eat. Jesus, Brennan, you're not gonna wash your hands. How can you eat and smoke at the same time? Easy. Enjoy it. And for an encore? Living proof we're descended from the apes. Oh, it's no good. I can't eat and watch you at the same time. That's the trouble with your city, fellas. You can only do one thing at a time. Okay. Well, this Greg Fire giving this just one. But I have that in English, please. Is that okay? Well, it's better. Huh? Was Greg Law from fucking Carol Marshall? Well, we can only speculate. Speculate me bullets. This is Mrs. Lawton. Hi, Maggie. Um, I wonder would it be possible to speak to Greg? Oh, I see. No, no, it's not important. He must have had some meeting outside the office. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hi, Dad. What are you doing home? No, everything's fine. I was just looking for Carol. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's right. She must have gone shopping for more clothes. Okay, bye, Dad. Hi, Dad. Oh, what's wrong with you, Greg? You look like I do when they're transferring second preferences. <laughs> you know how it is, John. Tough day. We just lost one of our big accounts, and some of our other clients are getting nervous. Well, if life was always plain sailing, it'd be very boring. You'll uh, have a scotch. Please. And uh, you'll have the same, Jane? I'll just have a fruit juice. Hmm. Uh, sure, an orange juice is good enough for you. I'm sure. And what I'm also sure about is that something like this would be quite strong enough for you as well. 
My God, here I am out running the country every day and I have a daughter who doesn't think I'm even worth a drink. <laughs> Listen to him. You're sounding more like King Lear every day. You'd think you had to go and catch those joyriders yourself. We are catching them. The numbers are coming down. Certain papers say that the numbers are coming down. Certain papers that a certain political party has links with. Now, you leave matters of state to the politicians, my dear. Oh, and so now the people have no say. Oh, you have plenty of say. You just put your number one on the ballot paper against your daddy's name and that could be say enough for you. <laughs> Well, Greg, you're looking like a man who's just watched his house burning down. And herself here is acting like she's won the lotto. Stop picking on Greg. Ah, you're all right, Greg. You're a member of the family now. You have my full permission to join in any family row. Thank you. I'll remember that. Mind you, you are a bit on the happy side. If giving up the drink does this for you, I might even try it myself. But uh, at a later stage. Yeah, she was the same in the car coming over. Well, it so happens that I have news. Big news. Well, let's hear it. Yes, come on. Out with it. I can't until Carol's here. I'm here. You currently look great. Just a little something I slung around it. Would my favourite brother-in-law like a refill? Uh, no, I'm okay. Your favourite father would. <laughs> As I was saying, I have news. Sorry, sis. I'm going to have a baby. Okay, Leonardo. Why does a mother to be announce her bun in the oven to her father, her sister, and her husband all at once? Now, how do we know this anyway? What the fuck are you talking about, Harris? Do you think these files write themselves? Look, questions were asked, reports were typed, and Susan asked the good looking sister a few questions. And did the good looking sister not wonder why Greg wasn't told first? Maybe Jane thought if she told Lot and he told Carol. Do you know what I mean? I'm speculating again. There has to be a reason why Jane told them all together. That nah. kind of thing just isn't done. Well, the play is the thing that catches the conscience of the king. What? Do you know what I mean? Do you have my drip? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Maybe if you'd used a line like that on your good-looking doctor, she'd have taken you to the pictures. Here, I'm a donut. Jesus Christ, if any of that's gone on the suit. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. Morning. Morning. I tried you yesterday at the office. You weren't there. What's this? Checking up on me. Extended lunch. If it's anything important, you can get me on the mobile. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the mobile. Was it a problem? No, it was nothing. You look a little pale. Are you all right? If anything's wrong, you should give Dr. Walsh a ring. I'm just a bit tired. I didn't sleep too well. Oh, I was late. Sorry, I won't. Will you be early tonight? You know how things are at work at the moment. If you need me, call me on the mobile, OK? See ya. Bye. son comes in and says, Daddy, 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 Daddy. He says, what, son? He says, Daddy, I, am I really a polar bear? You see? The so father looks at him and says, of course you're a polar bear, son. Look what you have. You've got white fur on your claws and big teeth and it's been snowing outside. He says, I don't believe I am. He says, shut up and go away. So anyway, the young fella goes up to the mother and says, Mammy, 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 am I really a polar bear? She says, of course you are, son. Look at you then, the white fur on you, the claws and the teeth. She says the same thing. Yeah, more or less. Will you let me tell the joke, will you? Well, you go on. All right. All right, but the little fella isn't convinced anyway. So he's asked the father, is he a polar bear? And he's asked the mother, is he a polar bear? No, 
Oh, this is one where the kid says, because I'm, because I'm fucking freezing. Hello? Hi, Carol. Yeah, I'm fine. The doctor says everything's going to be okay. I am taking it easy. Since when did you become the loving sister? All right, I'm sorry. I know you and Dad are concerned. Not doing anything? Why don't you and Dad come over for dinner tonight? Okay, you come over then. No, he didn't look great the last time I saw him. What did the doctor say? Right. Well, send my love. Yeah, he's under a lot of pressure with all this joyriding business. Yeah, okay. Well, listen, thanks for calling, Carol. I'll see you tonight. Bye. It must have been a terrible shock. It was. What's the prognosis? The doctor says there's still a chance. He has me on these stupid tablets. I've got to help you relax. I don't need them. Don't worry. Everything will be OK. Don't worry. That's right. Don't worry and no more miscarriages. It's not the attitude. A young couple like you and Greg, everything should be fine. And if the worst comes to the worst, you can always adopt. Sorry. Well, you can always adopt. I want my own children. Stop upsetting yourself. Here, I'll help you clean up. No, it's okay. I can manage. Greg, we've got to talk. You two go home. The doctor says she'll be fine. They got her in time. She'll be asleep for the rest of the night. Come on, you two look beat. I'll stay here. Any news, and I'll call you. Why did she do it? She seems so happy. She's been a bit upset since the miscarriage. Don't worry, Dad. After this, she'll get treatment, and everything will be all right. Uh, Carol, will you stay here? I'll bring your father home. We'll uh, have to take a taxi. I've locked my keys in the car. Um, you'll find a spare set in Jane's bag. I'll come back later in Jane's car to see how she is. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Good night, Dad. Good night. I might see you later, Carol. Why have you always hated me? Was it because you blamed me for Mother's death? Or maybe it's because Father loves me more than he loves you. Jane, you don't know what you're saying. Do 
try to get some sleep. Those tablets have made you very confused. Don't think I don't know about you and Greg. <sighs> There's nothing between me and Greg. You know me. Anything in pants and outfit, it's just a bit of fun. <sighs> just as usual, you're overreacting. Even when I'm around you, he trips over you. Jane, can we talk about this some other time? I'm going to go. And for everybody's sake, try to pull yourself together. That bit of a show you put on tonight nearly killed Dad. Dad's going to find out everything. And then, big sister, you might have to get a job. Greg's not going to leave me. Not for you or anyone else. You're mad. Where's your bag? Greg said I could borrow his car. You're going nowhere in that car. Susan, got a second. Oh, how are you? I hear you're on this horse venture. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Look, what's the story with Tom Brennan and all this slagging? Don't take any notice of him. He's only trying to get your back up. It'd be well worth it when we make our millions. <laughs> Making millions isn't worth the bother of having to put up with him. If he doesn't take it easy with the slags about my missus, I'm going to sort him out. You can tell him that. You can tell him yourself. Thanks, Nola. How are you, Ola? Huh? What's that? It's from Interpol. Big new case. We're needed, Tom. It seems some mad scientist is going to take over the world. We have to go to Malibu. Oh, Mr. Weston, what does it show me? No, oh, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Show us the fucking thing. I'll fuck you over the banisters. What oh, is all it? All right, all right, all right. It's a printout of a newspaper article from 1974. What's it say? 
Well, it's about some up-and-coming politician's wife who dies in a car crash. This is going to make sense to me eventually. Uh, well, in your case, I'm not so sure, Tom. No, it's Marshall's wife. She dies at the wheel in a car crash. And little Jane and little Carol are in the back seat. What's that got to do with now? Well, Carol maintained that it was Jane's fault. Little Jane, in the back of the car, puts her hands in front of the mother's eyes and bang, the car hits a tree or something. Well, that's nearly 20 years ago. What's that got to do with now? Carol blames Jane for the mother's death. She's borne that grudge for over 20 years. Jesus, women, huh? Can't live with them, huh? They can live without you, Tom. <laughs> Be careful of fingerprints. Yeah, I don't think that's what they were looking for. Did you check the back? It's okay. They got in through the roof. By the looks of things, it must have taken them a couple of hours. Yeah, I suppose it's cheaper to break in here than buy the stuff on the streets. Does the owner know? The station must have been on to him. He's on his way down. Oh, what do you think of all the excitement back there? The minister? Yeah, things are hotting up now since he got the daughter's goodbye note. Did you see what was in it? What? But the other sister, Carol, was having an affair with Jane's husband, Greg. Sure, all the papers have it. Everyone in the country must know. Yeah, well, when the minister found that out, he started ranting and raving about how he was going to kick your own Carol out of the house. And I'd rather throw the cat among the pigeons. You know, I'll bet you your share of the horse, she moves in with your man, Greg. It's nothing to do with us. Your problem is, when the two lads crack, they're going to have a big day in the sun. They won't have a big day anywhere, anytime. Two of them couldn't find Christmas. What is it with you and Brennan? You two couldn't be civil with each other for the length of a working day. Yeah, well, him and me don't work the same shift. And someone's been talking to my missus about the horse, and I know who it was. OK, Joe, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. It was me. I rang her. Joe, it's a joke. I'm only messing. You take everything to heart. That's why the lads wind you up. There's a lot of mileage to be had out of you. And you're a gas. You're as bad as the other two. Look, I'm going to tell you something for nothing. The two of those should look at that stolen car more closely, and at the business of where your man Greg was the night his wife went for the swim. Jesus, Joe, don't worry about it. Yeah, well, if they don't check it out, I will. So I wish this fella'd hurry up. Yes, Jenny. Have you news for me? Then you just have to go on looking, won't you? Jerry, until you find Jane's body, I won't give up hope. I can't. It's all I've got. Jane's always been so full of life, I can't just agree she's dead. To hell with the doctor. And to hell with Carol and that shit heel of a son-in-law of mine. Just find Jane. Jerry, find her, please. Listen, go in there, you know, and ring that train or see what the story is about the horse. Yeah, yeah, everything's under control. Bob Harris here. Yeah, I was just wondering, uh, how's the horse going to do over the weekend? Okay, you call it. Right. OK, Greg and Carol set up house together, right? Now, why did they do that? Is it because they like each other, or is it because Carol's no place left to go? Well, the word is she can't type. Right. 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 Greg the hubby, 
Rings up the station daily to see if the, if the body's turned up. You know, the real loving husband. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The old friggin' minister right, rings up the chief daily, shows the ear off, demands results. Don't tell me. He wants more men on the job. He wants more men on the job. Bubble. Yeah, you got it, right. The chief says that if he wants more men on it, maybe he could see to it to have some money made over to his department. The word is, Marshall's on his last legs, both politically and physically. Mm. He needs a couple of bypasses real quick. Mm. And the report says that Jane Marshall's car was stolen the night of her big swim. What do you mean it was stolen? It was stolen. She drove Greg's car to the beach. But the chief says the pressure from upstairs is very fucking big. Something about the press getting hold of it. You know, all this joyrider shite and all that. Mm. So it looks like that gets thrown in the bin. Oh, Jesus, don't talk to me about joyriders. Huh? No, I tell you, I don't think her uh, car being stolen has anything to do with her going to the beach, is it? Brilliant. Did you say something to my missus? About me going in on this horse with you. Oh, no, Joe, I never said that to your missus. No, but if it had been a filly, we were going to call it Joe's wife, weren't we? <laughs> What's so fucking funny about that? Oh, nothing, I'm just happy. He hasn't had any donuts for a while. Yeah. Sugar count is low. He gets like that. Yes, me sugar count's low, Joe. Yeah, well, if I find it was you told the missus, I'll fucking kill you. Oh, easy, Joe. We're all business partners here. <laughs> I heard this thing's going Saturday. Is it off? No, I'm going to finish down the field. Give it another couple of months. Yeah, two months, Joe. Don't worry. I'm sure your missus will tell you if it's going to do the business. Yeah, you leave my missus out of this. Right. Jesus, did you have to go and do that? No, he's on your bollocks. He's our business partner. He's joint owner in our business venture. I told his missus he was in for a grand. Oh, Jesus. I'd say, oh, Joe, prefer to crash out at Lawton's place than go home and face that. Lawton's place, <laughs> Jesus. I'd give anything to be a fly in the wall in that place right now. Why don't you just put the bottle to your head? I'll purchase a drip. For Christ's sake, she's dead. I hope she's fucking dead. Because things are taking a certain direction I don't think she'd approve of. Can you imagine what she'd say if she turned up now? I don't want it to be like this. Well, you should have thought of that before you started to fuck her husband. I want that portrait out of here. We'll get rid of it when they find the body. If they find the body. To the lady of the house. Get a hold of yourself. That's sweet. Me, get a hold of myself. And how many tablets have we been taking to nod off to dreamland? At least I can meet with people not like you. You're drunk all the time. They won't find her, you know. You and me, babe. How's your dad? We haven't seen old John lately. I wonder how many joy riders he caught today. Jesus, I remember seeing him the night he got the job. I saw him on the box. And I remember thinking, now there's a complete gobshite if ever I saw him. Feeling was mutual. Greg, Greg, it's all right. It's only me. Oh. What happened, then? Where 
did you sleep last night? I stayed with Patty. Oh, Christ, my head. <laughs> Listen, Carolyn. I'm sorry about last night. I'm... Uh, I'm under pressure, I have. I can't even sleep with these dreams. I know, Greg. She haunts me, too. Come on. Jez, if we'd have been on that, we'd have been made for life. Two of the favourites dropped out at the last moment. Seven other horses fell. Fifty to one. Fifty to fucking one, Jez. I don't even feel like eating it. The jockey nearly broke the horse's neck trying to stop him in the straight. Well, why the fuck didn't he fall off? Well, what did the trainer say? What did the bullock say, eh? He tried to ring me 20 minutes before the off to say there was a good chance it might be placed. Placed? It won by 20 lengths? I know, I know it won. It won, it won. It fucking won. No, it fucking won. We weren't on it. We didn't make a look. There's no use crying over spilled milk. Let's go and get something to eat. A few cream buns or something. Look, I'll buy you lunch. Cheer up, for fuck's sake. I didn't buy that mag either. Oh, Jesus, here's Susan. I pay back the bill in society, right? My father had an adobe with something called Here's Susie in the race before. Here's Susie. He said to me yesterday he had a tip for it. So I had a queue for you, couldn't the double, and they also had the shelf on its own. It's great. I pay back every money I want. Bob, you're a genius. <laughs> Come on, lads. The cream horns are on me. the body. I have to go down. Jesus, thank God for that. I'm going with you. Come no, on. there's no need. Come on. I don't know. You know the family are coming down. That's right, the husband and the sister. There's no need for it. We know who she is. Jesus, you know, I wish they'd hurry up. I've got a date tonight. Hey. Wouldn't you like to know? It's that new doctor. Maybe. Jesus, he's a right. <laughs> okay. You must be the husband and sister? Yeah, that's right. This will be very nice. It's not really fair of the powers that be to put you through this. We need to see her. You must prepare yourself for a shock. She's nothing like you remember her.
So how did you grow with Sandra the other night, eh? Hey, what's the story with Sandra? Who's Sandra? Yeah, who's Sandra? The one you took out the other night. That was Claire. My sister's name is Sandra. Okay, what's her name? Claire, then. How'd you get on? Come on. Oh, I wanna enjoy myself. I kept thinking about that fucking horse. I see Joe hasn't been in the last two days. No, on our look, his missus probably backed it and they're off on a Caribbean cruise. Do you think we could ask Susan for the loan of a couple of quid? Go out for a few pints tonight? Oh, well. I was fair in love and fucking up. I don't think she's dead. Oh, she's dead, all right. Due to be washed up any day now. What makes you think she's not dead? Spotted at the races, was she? Oh, I'll give it a rest. No, the stuff she took for the first suicide attempt. What's that? I have it here. It's... It begins with a B. <laughs> oh, yeah, laugh. It's the stuff women take when they're pregnant to stop fluid retention. But you could empty a bucket full of it into a fish tank and the fish would still be there in the morning. The water might be gone. What the fuck you on about? The pills she took for the first suicide attempt were harmless. So was her drive to the seaside. Oh, why would she fake her own death? Oh, Jesus, I don't know. Feminine logic. When you start going out with a few women, you'll realise they're not the most logical of creatures. Well, like horses. Oh, fuck off! I tried you yesterday at the office. You weren't there. It's just checking up on me. I want my own children. There have been reports of two sightings of the missing daughter of the Minister of Justice, John Marshall, within the last couple of days. Jane Lawton has been missing from her Dublin home for nearly two months. It is understood that both reported sightings occurred on Monday in the Galway area. A Garda spokesman refused to give any details of the ongoing investigation. The spokesman went on to say, however, that the Garda were dependent on the public for their help in investigating cases of missing persons and that any information supplied by the public would be followed up. He asked the public to bear in mind the pressure that families of missing persons are under and stressed that the public should act responsibly in making reports to the Garda. She was spotted in Galway. Galway? What the fuck was she doing in Galway? Going to a poetry reading? Oh, God was full of wasters and students. I mean, where'd she get the money? There was no money drawn out of her accounts. Uh, there was some other young one that looked like her. Where's she gonna stay? Well, that old one who saw her was, was 78 years old. The other one that said she saw her was only 15. That's probably a glue stepper. 
she's gonna turn up. So is my dead granny. Look, when she turns up, she'll be covered in seaweed. How much? No, no, you never pay our debts. Joe, come in. How's things? Yeah, how's things, Joe? Huh? What is it, Joe? You're gonna start blowing kisses at me next time. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> Joe! No! You have to tell her! You have to tell her, you fucker! You have to tell her! Come on, Joe, it was only a joke! Only a joke. You two are so smart. Racehorse owners and all that shite. You're so smart. You let the stolen car on the night of the Lawton case be swept under the carpet. Playing along with the boys upstairs. That Jesus. car was spotted. Two miles away from the beach. Yeah, that's right. That beach on that night. And around the time your friend took her swim. The patrol car followed it, but it got away. They got the license number. So it was a young man driving. Lord. Oh, you're so fucking smart. So, it was Greg Lawton's car that was found on the beach. Yeah, the waste car was stolen. Are you driving? No, better idea, you drive it. And Joe the genius, while he's giving you a smack, yeah. says that someone answering Lawton's description it's spotted near the beach. Well, there you go. You find the car keys of one of the suspects and you solve the case. Hi, Bob, it's Susan here. It's Marshall. He's given up the drink. The Minister of Justice, John Marshall, died at home last night. He had been in poor health for some time. He was first elected to the Doyle for South Dublin in the early 60s and became Minister of Justice in last year's reshuffle. Law and order, and particularly the joyriding crisis, have been causes of concern for the present government. John Marshall's promotion to the front bench did little to stop the problems in his department. His daughter, Jane Lawton, went missing over a month ago. Mr. Marshall is also survived by his other daughter, Carol. The Taoiseach, in a message of condolence, said that he had lost a good friend and that the Doyle had lost one of its finest parliamentarians. Carl, I have something to tell you. What? The night she was brought to the hospital, I, um, I went back. It was getting light. I, I saw her leave. I... I drove to the beach. I saw her car there. I parked beside it. I went for a walk along the beach. It was a, a, a place we used to go to. I couldn't find her. When I got back to the road, the car I drove there and was gone. She has a spare key to it on her keychain. I don't think she's dead. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know what's real anymore. I do know she's alive. 
She's going to come back and she's going to do some harm. Why didn't you tell the gods? That I'm having an affair with my wife's sister. Both of whom just happen to be daughters of the Minister for Justice. Oh, I just need to sleep. Just sleep. The Cora. Tomorrow. Let's do a nag. Make a comeback. Would you fuck off with your comeback? Jeez, you're no balls, you know, there's no balls at all. There's more balls on a parish priest. There you go again, making my sides rock with laughter. <sighs> Jane. Jane! Carol! She's back. Jane's back. Greg! Greg, relax! You've been drinking. Jesus! The doctor told you not to drink! Carol, don't leave me alone. She's close. I can feel her. Greg, come back to bed. God, you've got a fever. I'm going to call Dr. Walsh. I could give you something to knock you out. Jesus, Brannon. How long have they been there? You just give us the shotgun things, will you? <laughs> Do you have much trouble getting them off the dog? Do you want one? Jesus, no. Just suit yourself. It's gonna be a long night. Maybe Lady Macbeth's given the duck one. Yeah, I reckon it's just more sleeping tablets for our boy. He must have gone through all the whiskey. I wouldn't like to get into a round with him. I wouldn't say he'd fancy it either. You tight bastard. <laughs> I'll have that bed from tomorrow. Thank you, Doctor. Marshall's off the drink. No fucking harm, huh? No respect for the dead. Anyway, the next one will be just as bad. Those politicians are all the fucking same. You know what? You should give that a go. Your suits and all. A couple of double breasts. A few words of wisdom about job creation and uh, joyriders. Oh, Jesus, joyriders. The plague of modern Ireland. It's the parent inside, man. Harris. Shut fucking up. <laughs> <laughs>
Peter. Yes, I'd like to report a fault, please. My number is double seven four two four seven one nine. Yes, that's correct. But it just keeps ringing, and when I pick it up, there's no one there. Yes, I know that, but our number isn't listed. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. What about Nola? What about Nola? Why don't you have a crack at her? She's from your neck of the woods. Oh, yeah. 200 miles up the road, huh? Just up the road. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. She's not from the city. She's a swamper like yourself. You know, the pair of you should be very grateful for the jobs you have up here in the city. <sighs> Listen, this is my car. Any more of that shite now, you can walk home, okay? Okay. Somebody trying to fix you up. Well, I can fix myself up, all right? All right. <clears throat> Lula. She speaks very highly of you. Oh, just leave her out. Jerry. All right, all right. A body of a young woman was washed up on Kalini Beach in South County Dublin today. The woman is believed to be in her early to mid-twenties. Already there is speculation that this is the body of Jane Lawton, who went missing a little over two months ago. Gardaí are waiting for a report from the state pathologist before they issue a statement. No, John. Check her on my back. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Marshal, uh, <clears throat> where are the, the two I detectives? know who you are. 
Ah, well, I'm afraid uh, we have some rather bad news. My sister's body has been found. Oh, yeah, the ID was made up from dental records, uh, so there's no need for you to... Uh, no. Yes, I know. Well, we're well, very sorry. Don't be. A nightmare is over, but as usual, my sister has turned up late. Yeah, well, you've read your statement. Everything seems to be in order. We believe Greg Lawton's in hospital. Yes. Poor Greg. At the end, he thought that Jane had come back. The doctors had no option but to have him committed. <laughs> in a way, they're together now. Maybe that's how it was meant to be. The car was found. The car Greg thought she drove away from the beach in. We found the ringleaders of the racket. It wasn't joyriders. It was a very organized gang who stole expensive cars. A new paint job, across the border to Europe, no questions asked. You know? Yes, my father would have liked to have seen the end of that lot. Well, once again, we're, <clears throat> we're very sorry. So much for your sight is in gold. I told you she was dead. All right, all right. I was wrong. You were right. You should have taken a bet on it. Let's go see Lawton, huh? Give him a bunch of flowers. Tomorrow I'm dying for a pint. Yeah. Big hospital, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a fucking hotel. You try down here, man. Yeah. That's not him with the shagging wheelchair, is it? It might be, you know. Jesus. Mr. Lawton! Mr. Lawton? Hello? It is. Detective Thomas Brennan and uh, Detective Bob Harris. We've come to tell you about your wife, Mr. Lawton. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Thank you. That's women for you. They take your money and they break your heart. Listen, honey, here's what we do. We sell the horse, and with the money from the horse, we buy maybe five, six greyhounds. Greyhounds? Yeah, greyhounds. Five or six? Yeah. Greyhounds mean bollocks. 